hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new haul video. Today I am unboxing these two mango parcels. One is actually mango store, one's mango outlet. So I have so many bargains to share with you today. But before I do, I just want to firstly thank ShopTagger for very kindly sponsoring this video. If you don't already know what ShopTagger is, it's an online platform and app that you can download completely free of charge. I've used ShopTagger for so long now and I actually used it for this purchase here because I wanted to get my hands on the padded shoulder top that Mango sold out of um, and what ShopTagger allows you to do once you have downloaded their browser button, you can visit your favourite online stores and save the items that you love and also add them to your created wish list. And then ShopTagger will notify you via email or mobile push notifications when an item that you have saved has either come back in stock in your size or has reduced in price. So for those savvy shoppers like me who love a bargain and want to get your hands on the items once they've been reduced in the sale, which is also what I tend to do around special occasions, birthdays, Christmas, that kind of thing, I'll shop using ShopTagger just to make sure I get the best price. So they also auto scan for coupon codes at checkout as well, even more so just making sure you get the best price so I'll leave a direct link in the description box down below if you did want to download it for free today and start shopping savvy and without further ado let's get into my pretty big probably my biggest ever mango haul so I very much wanted to do it in the style of taking out items first impressions that kind of thing this top bag here is everything from mango direct I'll put the mega bargains from mango outlet down here for now okay we might as well start with the top that I was referring to the padded shoulder top which everyone has been wearing I've seen this so much on Instagram I've gone for the medium to large and I'm typically a UK size 10 for reference so let's Let's try this one on. Okay, this is what the padded shoulder top looks like on. I'm just currently wearing these cream colored jeans from Selected Fab, which I feel like it looks quite nice against, you know, the contrast, the black and the lighter shade. $17.99 this top is, and I also picked it up in the gray. Again, I feel like this lighter, mild kind of grey shade is really nice for this time of year. Very boxy, as you can tell. It would be nice belted or how I've done just like a little half tuck into jeans. Very happy with this one. So glad for Shop Tagger telling me once it was back in stock. Okay, next up, kind of similar fit to this, but without the padding, I picked up the Klein t-shirt in cream. I got this in a medium. It kind of has a little tuck in of the shoulder there just to give it that structure at the top but without the padding so I'll try this one on now I really like this one I feel like it's just a little more wearable than the padded shoulder and if the padded shoulder is a bit too extreme for you then this is a nice alternative to get that boxy kind of androgynous uh, fit whilst not having massive padded shoulders. It's a little bit cheaper at $15.99. I really, really rate the quality of Mango Basics. I did also get this one to try, which is kind of similar to the other one, again, with padded shoulders, just for comparison, because it was the same price at $17.99, and slightly different labeling and sizing. This one is just a medium as opposed to a medium to large. I'm gonna try this one on and see how it compares to the other padded shoulder ones I tried on. Okay, this one in comparison is a little more fitted. I don't know if that's because it's a medium as opposed to a medium to large, but it definitely feels a little less boxy and oversized than the other one. I really, really like these. I'm going to have to make a decision on which ones to keep because my intention isn't to keep everything in this haul. Again, another item I got in the same style but in two different colours in cream and black is this very practical everyday kind of smock style dress in this really really soft cotton fabric i am obsessed with this dress i love the sort of cap sleeve detail and it's a gorgeous length as well like i said a perfect throw on dress for this time of year so much so that i got it in black as well it's 15.99 and it's actually part of the committed range that's made from 100 percent organic cotton made with eco-friendly and recycled fabrics which i think is great value for money to have this for 15.99 this one is the most expensive thing i bought at 35.99 and it is a jumpsuit this fabric 
is perfect. Very lightweight, very soft. Let's hope it fits. Okay, this is gonna be a definite return just because I feel like the fitting is off. As much as I love the fabric, the material, the comfort of this, um, I also would quite like if it had pockets. That's a shame. But this tie around waist detail here thing here is actually sewn in at the back. So you can't, it, well, it kind of restricts to, to how you would tie it. It's also very low, as you can tell. I have this little nude sort of crop top bra style thing underneath because without it, it would be too, too exposed. I do also have two belts to show you. I've been after a brown leather belt. I picked up two different styles to compare and hopefully pick one to keep. They're both $17.99 and I got them both in a small. This one has very much a plain gold buckle and it's a very dark chocolate brown. And then in comparison, this one is a much lighter tan. Oh, which one do I prefer? I actually think I prefer the look of this one. I like the buckle as well. It's kind of like a hammered, um, misshapen buckle. Let me just try for size reference. Oh, I'm gonna have to definitely punch some holes in it though. Let me try this one. Again, same, there's loads more holes. I actually don't have a belt hole puncher. I feel like that's a really handy thing to own. Moving on now, I have the big box of Mango Outlet things to open up and share with you guys. Okay, so the first thing in this box are these pair of trousers. They're kind of like a gray, not how I imagined they would be. Size 10. They're kind of like that typical smart workwear trouser. Let's try these on. Okay, these are what the trousers look like. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with these. The only thing that I think is putting me off a little bit is the pocket detail on the bum kind of sticks out a little bit, but I feel like I could iron and sort of press them down, so that's fine. Really nice length as well, one that you could definitely wear with heels if you're similar height to me. I'm just over 5'5". Five five. And then I've just put on this top with it, which again is from Manga Outlet. This top is in a large, so it's not as like fitted as I'd maybe like it to be, like around here. But it fits fine. I, I'm still going to keep it. It was only 4 99 so mega, mega bargain. And it's a really nice cream knit and then these trousers are only $7.99 so a pretty bargain outfit if you ask me okay moving on I'm just going to throw on this knit jump over the top just to show you what this one looks like this was from the men's section on Mango Outlet and it's a really nice towel fabric I've seen Mango do this before so I knew I would really like this I got it in an XXL just so that it's super oversized and I feel like this will be a great basic to own and it was only $9.99 so maybe a little thinner than I thought it was gonna be and it definitely needs a bit of an iron but we'll just ignore that for now so you could definitely like tuck it in and wear it a bit more slouchy kind of fit. I feel like it'd be a really nice clothing item to bring with you to a picnic in the park or a barbecue, transitioning into evening when you've got maybe a top like this on with denim shorts, very summery outfit, and this to have as an extra layer fit in the evening when it gets a little bit cooler. I'm actually gonna see if Tom likes this as well because it is from Mango Man. And if he likes it, then maybe we can share it. <laughs> I have a beaded bag from Manga already and love it. And then I saw this one on their website with like a darker kind of chocolate brown shell. You could wear it cross body, you could wear it just over your shoulder. It's not the most practical bag because it is obviously beaded and therefore sheer, but just a nice little one to take with you to just fit in your like coin purse and phone and it was only 4 99 so bargain, right? I also picked up a couple of jewellery items. These ones you actually may recognise from a previous Mango haul and the reason why I repurchased these is because I actually lost one of these, I think on holiday somewhere, I can't remember where, it might have been Dubai? I can't remember, 
but I really really liked them and they were still on Manga Outlet. They're only £4.49 uh, I think and it's a really nice kind of gold pearl and resin clear uh, design that just kind of sit, well you can see, quite a nice length, quite a dramatic evening kind of jewellery piece. And then I also picked up this at £3.49. This necklace I feel like is a good way to introduce mixing metals because I'm predominantly gold jewellery wearer. I do like the idea of potentially putting a bit of silver in there. So this necklace, I love this pendant design. I think it's so pretty and it's got like kind of a gun metal inside like hammered metal effect with a gold surrounding and gold chain. Next up I have another outfit which I can try on now. First of all, these trousers, these nice high-waisted, double-buttoned, tailored kind of trousers with little turn-ups at the bottom. And I'm gonna throw on with it, again, another really good quality knit basic. It's kind of a similar fabric to the one I'm already wearing, and it also has a crossover back detail. I picked the top up in a medium, and then I got the trousers in a size 12. I'm assuming they didn't have 10s available. Okay, this is what the top and bottoms look like. Unfortunately, these ones are a little bit too big. They are only 9 99 which is a bargain, and I love the colour and fit and design of them. It's just purely a little bit too big. So if I check back on and they've got a 10, then I'll definitely opt for these again at 9 99 And this top, let me just show you the back, because that little crossover detailing, I love. And again, a bargain price, this one, of just 4 99 Now let's go in with this. Oh, a jumpsuit. It feels so soft. Excuse the fact that this definitely needs an iron. I love the wooden buttons and the tie away cinches it in. It's a really nice length as well. I'd probably just wear this like on an everyday summer's day with just flat sandals. Very put together. But essentially it's just one piece that you can just throw on. Very easy. Only £15.99 this one. It's in a medium but the waist is plenty big enough so I could have got away with a small or a large in this one. It's one of those. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. What do you think of my jumpsuit? Nice. Do you like this? Yeah, it's nice, I know it needs an iron but... I think if I remember rightly, this is a, another dress. Oh, I love this knit and this colour. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, perfect. Okay, this actually has a little slip underneath as well. I've got this in a large. Again, that similar style with the tie waist. Doesn't really matter what size you get. So let's try this one on. Okay, I'm just going to come in a little bit closer so you can see the detail of this dress and the actual material it is so perfect for summer i love this kind of a style of dress i like the fact that it's midi as well sometimes you feel like you just want that extra coverage i just love it i think it's a really perfect throw on summer's dress that looks very expensive very chic and timeless so it's only 9.99 so again a mega bargain if you've never tried my outlet definitely do i think if i remember rightly they call this the safari dress and it's a slightly thicker knit love this beige sand kind of color okay yet again another perfect throw on summer's dress i love this knit so so much this one feels really really soft really nice quality i've tied this waist detail kind of like crossbody and on the side but obviously you could tie it at the back you could tie it just singly at the front you could get rid of this all together and put the um brown leather belt from mango with it um just a nice fit material everything about this i love i love the wrap design uh, the actual top part itself has this almost cap sleeve detail which i think is a really flattering cut so much so that i actually bought the top version so it's the exact same color material and everything i did pick up the top in a small the dress is in medium and the top is six pound 99 and the dress is 9.99 so again another couple of great bargains there i think i'd wear this top just well so many different ways but i think it would look really nice with smart cream trousers uh, maybe denim shorts and an oversized cream blazer like i always say with mango basics the knit is such great quality, and when you can get it at bargain prices like this, 
you can't really go wrong. Okay, I ordered this one piece boiler suit, jumpsuit kind of um, outfit. I picked this one up in a medium. It was 12 99 so bargain again. It's got a drawstring cinched in waist and pockets, hallelujah. Right, let's try this one on. Okay, this is what this jumpsuit looks like. It's actually a bit more formal than I imagined it would be. It's too long to be worn um, with flats as it is, I feel like I'd either need to have it turned up at the bottom or wear it with heels and have it more um, like of a dressier jumpsuit. I love the fit on the sleeve and the top part, you could obviously wear a bit more casually and undone, but it does button all the way up to the top. I just think it's a really nice fit. It's actually very similar, if not identical, to one I've had in the past from Mango in like a lighter colour. Next, a couple of items that I've got to show you which I thought would look nice together are these button detail shorts. These are quite short for me. I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll try them on. They're in a medium. And then I got this linen basic t-shirt, which can't really have too many of these. It is 100% linen as well, and I picked it up in a medium. So let's try these on together for that kind of safari vibe. Okay, I think I'm gonna send these shorts back because of the sizing. I think it's because they don't sit as high-waisted as I usually wear bottoms, so they aren't actually as many as I thought, so I'm happy with the length of them. I just feel like I'd like them to be a bit more high-waisted. Maybe just an extra couple of buttons, if you know what I mean. The top itself is such a staple, classic basic, that I'm definitely going to keep. Might even buy another one off. Because it is only $6.99. And for a basic 100% linen t-shirt, super, super soft as well, you just really can't find that anywhere else at that price point so yeah i might even pick up another one or even two of these because they're a good basic to have forever the shorts were 8.99 if you were interested love the top i'm actually going to try it on the next pair of trousers with this white linen top as well i thought they were going to be a lemon but you can tell they're like a peach kind of color i've got them in a 10. okay i think i'm actually going to send these ones back because i'm not 100 sold on this color and also, as you can tell, they are incredibly creased. And I feel like it's that sort of material that as soon as you iron them, they're going to be creased straight away again. They are very, very soft though, I will say that. And they are only $8.99. Okay, we have two more items left. This high neck sort of racer back knit vest. And then I also wanted to try these. Unfortunately, they only had a large, so I'm really hoping that these are gonna fit because I love them. They're like a knit cycle short with a thick elastic waistband. Let's try on. Okay, I feel like we can move that down now. I'm actually gonna just show you these shorts on with a t-shirt because they are a little thin, so I probably would style it like this with an oversized linen t-shirt like so, or cotton t-shirt. They're actually not too big either. I mean, there's plenty of stretch, but they definitely fit around the waist, so that's good. So $4.99 these were, and a really nice alternative to a cycling short that's that kind of slinky fabric or sportswear fabric. I got this one in a medium and I'm quite glad I did because the neck is a little tight. I mean, it's fitted. I wouldn't say it's tight and restricting, but it is fitted. It was $8.99 this one. And although I love the cut of this, the knit is a little thinner than the others that I've got because that fit is really nice. Oh, you guys need to help me decide which ones I need to keep because my intention is definitely not to keep everything from this haul. But that is everything that I picked up this time around from Mango and Mango Outlet. Don't forget to check out Shop Tagger via the link in the description box. Download it for free. And if any of these items, which I will leave linked below in the description box, if any of them are sold out in your size, if you are keen on them but want a price drop, then be sure to use ShopTagger as a platform to help you shop savvy. So thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe for more. Like if you want more mango hauls in particular. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.